Hey guys, Tad back here from Attack of the Killer podcast with another Patreon exclusive video update for our YouTube channel. Once again, thank you for contributing to our Patreon page. Um, like I always say, we can't do this without you. We wouldn't be doing this without you because it'd be sort of weird to be talking to nobody. But um, I'll make this quick and get to the point. You can see I got something new. I got several Jasons here, which are sort of hard to see with all the background stuff. So um, I will talk briefly about what I acquired today. I don't get a whole lot of new stuff, so I'm very excited to bring you something new that I haven't been sitting on for a while. I just got this in the mail a few hours ago, been waiting for it so I could show you guys this new set from NECA. It's awesome. Um, here's the packaging. Yeah, not, not uh, the best view, but it's very simple. The box doesn't even have a window or anything. The artwork is very basic. It just has a picture of what you're getting. And on the back, it sort of shows what, what the setup will look like. These are all NECA 7-inch um, Jason figures, obviously. We got the part 4, the final chapter over here. We got Jason Lives part 6 and part 3 over here. And I've had these for quite a while. I absolutely love this line of figures. Still waiting for NECA to do a part... 8 Manhattan Jason. No one's ever done it, so get on it, NECA. But they put out this new accessory kit within the last couple months, and it's freaking awesome. Uh, it's, it's scaled to fit the 7-inch figures, obviously, because these are 7-inch figures. The kit comes with no actual Jason action figures. It comes with this light post and, I guess you'd say, dock base from Part 3. I know I don't have the right weapon in Jason's hand. He has the harpoon gun that shoots that comes at you in 3D. This is actual. I believe this is the first scene you see Jason with the hockey mask in the series. So it's pretty iconic. It has the light post. I wish, I sort of wish the light actually lit up. That would be pretty awesome, but I imagine it would be way more expensive. But like I said, the, sem the assembly on these are pretty simple. It just popped in the two logs and the light post to pop Jason on his base. So, ooh, uh, I will move on to the Crystal Lake sign, which is very simple but also very effective. Something that's been part of the series since the first film, the iconic sign, Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake. Very easy assembly, but it just looks really cool with the part Jason, part four Jason, the final chapter. So I might, I don't know, I have, I still actually have a part two Jason. I have a Pamela Voorhees. I think it might actually look pretty cool with Pamela because he sort of, uh, I associate the sign with the first film when, um, I don't know, I think of the can the counselors coming into town and driving through the woods and coming here. Um, and yeah, it's a cool little accessory. I hope I have room on my shelf. I'm sort of looking over there thinking, where am I going to fit this stuff? I just got it thinking, oh, you know, I'll find room. We'll see about that. And to me, the coolest accessory is this part six sort of rock and sign base that makes the Jason Lives figure look like it's floating underwater from the scene where Tommy Jarvis throws the chain around his neck and throws the rock in, the, in Crystal Lake and pulls Jason down for the last time he's dead, right? Uh, I just... I have a lot of great memories of this film, and if you watched previous video update, you know I have a little bit of history with this film. So this this is just a cool, ingenious idea. It's just really basic, a clear plastic pole comes up, tucks under Jason's shirt to give the illusion that he's floating. The chain comes down, hooks into the rock with the sign. Very simple stuff, but it's so effective and cool. So what I will do now, because I'm sure... Looking at them from a slight distance is real exciting. But what I'll do is I will grab the phone or camera or, yeah, my phone camera and show you guys a little bit uh, closer look at some of this stuff because it's just so cool. And I'm doing it a disservice by keeping it still here. Because you guys don't don't really care to see me anyway, so... Here's the uh, light post base. It's really cool. has has some great detail in it. Looks like real wood. 
you come around and it has the uh, the stone base you can see he just sort of stands on there but it's really really nicely done the details really cool as you can see the Jason lives it just oh man and I'll need to play with the posing a little bit to make him look a little more dead pose his head down that's one thing I wish uh, I could put his tilt his head down a little bit more like in the movie but uh, the detail on this thing all the way down to the Crystal Lake sign with the spray paint on it can't blood how cool is that and boom there's the uh, Camp Crystal Lake sign welcome to Camp Crystal Lake with the two little light posts on it it's very simple but very effective it has two clear bases to help it balance like this this is the most complicated thing and it's very simple too like I said it's just a clear base that comes up and holds tucks under his shirt and it's very effective but very cool this thing runs about $25 for the set luckily I got an Amazon gift card so I got it on Amazon with free Prime shipping, and I think they still have them in stock. But you can find them any online retailers. You can't find them at Toys R Us because they're all shutting down. Sad. But they were sort of the go-to place for NECA for a while. And it's going to be a bummer not to have them around anymore, but we don't have one here anyway, so I do most of my shopping online. But I've been excited to sort of show off this set. I'm not much of a, uh, I haven't bought a whole lot of stuff recently, but this is just too cool. Friday the 13th set. I mean, when you're a little kid and you get the accessory kits with all your action figures, you never dreamed that they would make one for Jason Voorhees figures. I mean, I'm not going to be playing with these, obviously. Well, I can if I want, because I'm an adult. But, I mean, it's, it's just so cool. It, puts, it adds something completely new to this. Especially these two figures, three and four. Outside of the uh, small variations in the mask, they're so similar. I mean, yeah, the pants colors are a little different and a little more detail in part four, but it just sort of sets, I don't know, sets them apart from each other. Gives them a little something cool, unique to put with them. And it just adds, adds something to my display. I mean, I put these up for... For to look at, I, I know this sounds stupid, but it just, like I said, adds adds another dimension to something that's already really cool. They did, they've done a similar set for Alien that has the face huggers and the aliens and the uh, clear glass pods and that kind of stuff. They have all kinds of neat little accessories, and I never thought we would get one for Friday the 13th. They've done a, a boiler for the Freddy. It's just, how cool is that? NECA's still producing the best horror stuff at an affordable price. 25 bucks isn't bad. Especially for how big and detailed these pieces are. Now that I actually have them in hand, I'm really not sure where I'm going to put them. Because I don't know if they'll fit on my glass shelf. I might have to move some stuff or rearrange a little bit, which I hate doing because I'm lazy. But, I can't complain because these are just so darn cool. The, uh... I am, I don't know, man, it's, it's tough because I really liked the pose I had my, my part six in holding the big spear, but this looks really cool too. And yeah, I'm really excited about having this kit. I highly recommend it if you, if you can find one at a decent price and you have these figures already, pick it up. If not, the figures are about $25, $30. 35 some places each so they'll rack up pretty quick luckily I got mine right when they came out for pretty decent price um, so if you're looking for the figures I think all of them are still available these are actually the standard versions of three and four they made ultimate versions which just means they came with more accessories that's why I don't have the harpoon in Jason's hand uh, for this guy over here and I don't have I'm just missing some weapons which Jason is good enough with just his machete. We don't need bone saw and all the other shit. But anyways, yeah, that's. I just wanted to sort of show this off because I think it's really cool. I don't. I don't know where um, if you're if you guys are into this kind of thing, but this is what I loved 
collecting when I was younger and every once in a while something will get me excited to start getting back into it. This kind of thing does and I love it. I, it sort of makes me miss going out of town and finding like a Spencer's or something and finding these these action figures in the wild. Now I just sit on my computer and scroll and there it is on Amazon. Click an order and she shows, shows up to my house a few days later. But I mean, that's a first world problem, who cares? Anyways, yeah, check this set out. Thank you NECA for making it. Thank you for watching. Thank you Patreon supporters for supporting us, donating each month. Tell your friends, tell your wife, tell your kids, tell them all, support us on the podcast. We have a live show coming up on April 21st at Capes Cafe in Des Moines, Iowa. If you're even close to the area, you have no excuse not to be there. So be there. It's free. And we're going to talk horror movies. Come up and tell me how bad these videos are. Tell me what you want to see. Thanks again for watching, and I guess I'll see you next time. Peace.